is to determine if a Bose torque is affected by how the draw weight is set. You watch this video for answers. We have a bow currently set at its maximum weight of uh, 65 pounds. And then we're gonna take a look at what that torque is. And then we're gonna have the same bow uh, adjusted down to its minimum weight, which is 55 pounds. Here's the bow. The actual bow is not that relevant, but just for the record, this is a Carbon RX-1 Turbo Hoyt. So let's take a look at what this bow does. All right, I'm going to turn on the uh, laser. There we go. And we're going to start the draw in a moment. Here it is, we're approaching full draw. Almost there. Okay, that's full draw. So we have approximately uh, three inches at uh, 13 feet, which is the same as it was tested prior to this. So we're going to interrupt for a moment and uh, bring the uh, draw weight down and run the same test. Okay, we're back with the same bow set now to uh, 55 pounds. This is a 55, 65 pound spread on this bow. And we're going to take a look at what the torque does on this now. There it goes. Broken full draw. All right, there you have it. There's full draw, geez, I should have panned that down, but anyhow, that's where it ended up. Okay, this is zeroing on it. It's virtually the same thing. The, the uh, decrease in torque was, in my estimation, uh, not a factor because of weight. So you can use any draw weight you choose and, and have an expectation that it's not going to uh, materially affect torque on that particular bow.